when you sent us to a penal institution, your life is scattered. You the one got to put it back together. First time you ever worked in the field? First time I ever worked in my life. You know, the person who was arrested 22 years ago was a totally different person. I've done everything in, in prison that I should have done as a community leader in society. The original charge that I'm in prison for is aggravated rape. I've been trying to uh, get the evidence since I've been here to prove my innocence. If a person gives up hope, that's the day that you begin to die. You know, I'm out here, I'm out here with you all filming and so forth. You know, there's, there wouldn't be any problem for me to walk away. But the point is, I've changed. I'm innocent. And I know one thing, if I lie, I know what I'm facing. Me and Sharon are here because we have to be. The thing you need to realize is that you know the truth. You do, and until you let go of your truth, you're gonna stay in your mental prison forever. It was a man, a good man, and with the crap of my heart, I took that man life, but they picked me up and rescued me. This is the incarceration station, the only one in the nation, 91.7 FM. I'm eligible for parole. I feel excited. I have a lot of hope. I've been a warden 17 years. I've seen a lot of good inmates. I've seen a lot of bad. And I would say that he is the very best of the best. I understand how people just keep setting you up. I don't know. It just seems like when I try to do right, things go wrong. I sold the good seed in Angola. And I come to New York to do what? To reap the harvest. Praise the Lord, I'm grateful. Boom, boom, boom. No longer back. first arrived, I would like to dig grass. I believe in the human rights. I'm going to make a difference. That's a promise to myself. If you allow me to be released, you'll never regret it. I see myself walking in New York City. I'm free. So them tall buildings, I had to stop it. And bless God today. I like my body to be turned into ashes. Everybody has a little bit of good in them somewhere. Maybe Vincent's just needs to be watered. I brought up St. Obama to solemnly swear. I don't think I've ever been inspired this much in my life. And I had tears coming from my eyes. Thank you for that, sharing that with me.